Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special video for you guys. It was recently my birthday and part of my birthday gift was a road trip throughout UK and Ireland, the entirety of the UK and Ireland. And it was absolutely epic. And I got a little shopping spree when I was there, which was amazing. I love to shop, as you may know, with all the hundreds of hauls that I have on this channel. But anyways, um, I thought I would share with you some of the stuff that I got. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I have some really amazing videos coming up. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's move on to the video. First, I will go ahead and show you my flowers and my balloon. Thanks to my sister. These are all my favorite flowers. These are over like a week old, but they're doing pretty well. I honestly don't know where to start. So let's just start here. Um, when we went to York, the city of York, uh, there was this cool little shop there. And let's see if I can show you. It's very hard showing you one handed. Oh wow, it has like a little seal on there. I did not see that. All right, I just took it out of the packaging. It was really hard to do it one handed. So here we are. Um, this is a little wax warmer. And I thought this was so cute. It was a little cauldron and it even has the store's name on it and York, which is what I wanted. Really cute. I know that um, I found some on Amazon. If you're interested, uh, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll give you the link. But uh, yeah, this one was far more expensive than the ones on Amazon. So I'd definitely tell you to get it off of Amazon. But I still thought it was so cute. So there is that. I just wanted a little um, souvenir from York. And I thought this was perfect because if you have seen pictures of York or been to York, it's kind of like a little, very, it's very Diagon Alley, you know, very Harry Potter. So um, if you are planning on visiting soon, this is the store. Really cool. Kind of got squashed as I was transporting everything back home, but here it is. And um, oh, they have a website. So the society of alchemists.uk or .co.uk. So there you go, you may be able to get some things off of their website. Next, we have some Harry Potter goodies. Um, this is my little mini Hedwig mug. Here is the mug. How adorable. I have an obsession with tiny things, especially tiny mugs. I absolutely love mugs, as you've probably seen before with my mug collection. I do have that video up, so make sure to check that out. But um, this will go perfectly with my mug collection. And there's that if you want to search them up. He may be available on Amazon, I'm not sure. But there is Hedwig. And speaking of teacups, um, England really knows how to do teacups and uh, all that. We did go to an afternoon tea at, I think it's called the park. I don't know, I'll um, insert the information here, but oh my goodness, it was my first ever afternoon tea and I was obsessed. It was literally perfection. Um, the The tea uh, was great. The food was, was pretty good, but the tea cups that they had, I wanted to take home with me, but unfortunately they just make it specifically for that restaurant. <sighs> so I, I really, really, really want that tea set, but, Instead, <laughs> um, temporarily at least, I got this mini tea set. Oh my gosh, look how cute. That is the little tray that it comes on. And I thought this was perfect because it shows like all the highlights of London. There is, of course, Big Ben and the London Eye, all that. So that was really cute. And then each little piece has like a little, you know, something or other painted on there. That's the double decker bus the little red telephone booths, which I remember seeing um, like a TikTok or something saying that they removed all of the telephone booths from the UK or London. I can't remember, but I was so sad because I was like, oh man, I won't be able to get, you know, to see any of these when I go there. That was a lie. I saw so many of these red telephone booths. So I don't know who started that rumor, but they're still there. So don't fret 
And look at these little saucers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am um, keeping this like well packaged until I figure out where to put them because I, I don't want them to break. So, oh my, oh my gosh, so adorable. And I got the last one, apparently. This was the, uh, these are pretty popular there, I guess. Um, the guys at the store were so sweet, though. Um, it was just like one of those, like, there's so many souvenir shops when you go there. So, it should be pretty easy to find. But, wow, absolutely love this set let's move on to Harrods I actually got this from the airport and I saw this mug well I saw several mugs I wanted all of them but they were pretty expensive as you can see 20 pounds oh my goodness but I really like the shape and the color um black with gold so pretty so this had to come home with me very very cute and let's see, there's like some other stuff. Oh, this is like all pamphlets and stuff from our travels. Um, oh, we did go here. I'm still not sure how to pronounce this, but this cafe. And um, the food was was pretty good. If you get their Nutella, uh, I think it's like their Nutella waffle or something. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely drenched in chocolate. So if you love chocolate, that would be perfect. We actually went here twice. Um, one for like lunch and one for breakfast. Um, and the pistachio latte. It's like a Spanish pistachio latte. That is amazing. Their food and everything was okay. But that pistachio latte is incredible. And they have like so many like bakery goods. It's wow. It, you just have to see it. It's really, really pretty. And it, if you love pink, this is the cafe for you. It is so girly, so cute, very, very Instagrammable. So I would definitely check this place out. And, oh, <laughs> this, this is just a rubber ducky from one of our hotels um, that we stayed in. Uh, yeah, I've never had a rubber ducky. And I thought this would go perfect in my Harry Potter room. If you know, you know. So... There's that. Oh, and by the way, I do have a Harry Potter room tour. I don't know if I've already posted it. So um, if I did, I will definitely link that down below. But it is truly magical. So make sure to look for that. So that's it for Harrods. Everything else is like receipts and stuff. Okay, moving on. This is a Burberry bag. But my husband was the only one that got Burberry. I couldn't find anything that I liked, unfortunately. And I made up for it by going to Holland Cooper and Fairfax and Paper. But um, inside, let's see, we do have some goodies. I did get some cashmere scarves, which I absolutely love. Let me see if I can find them here. This is very much like a Burberry-ish print, but this is 100% cashmere and far more affordable. You're literally just paying for the Burberry name. But this is the brand, Kiltane. We got this from Scotland. And it is so soft and so pretty. And I don't know, I, I just feel like I liked this more than the Burberry one, to be honest. So if you're on a budget, I mean, this wasn't cheap, obviously. It's cashmere. But way, way more affordable than Burberry. And um, it was so affordable that I did get an all black one. The all black one is currently in my closet. I'll take you to my closet um, in just a moment, but it's just all black. And I wore that all through my trip. So yes, very, very good quality. Um, I really, really enjoyed this brand. And then I did get several purses, as you will see. The first one was from this brand called Islander and they are actually increasing in popularity. You can actually go to their factory store, which is like, they only have, I think, two locations, at least in Scotland. And um, one of them is like the factory location where you can actually build your own purse. I didn't get to do that because I found that out after the fact, but I did really like this purse. Very, very cute. It's in the black watch print, which is like with blue and green. And I thought it was so cute. This is actually the smallest one. And it's like a very, very dark navy blue. It's hard to tell on camera, but it's excellent quality. It comes with a strap inside, like a, let me see if I can do this one-handed. I have to show you the inside. How cute, look at that, it's pink inside. And then it does come with like a little 
leather and chain strap right here with like gunmetal hardware. I just really wanted something with some tartan print and um, this was perfect. I really, really like this black watch print so much that I got, this is the just the dust bag that the bag comes in. Let's see, oh, here it is. I did get some matching gloves, which I thought was so cute. These are actual leather gloves and they are Harris Tweed. This is also Harris Tweed. And if you look at the history of Harris Tweed, it's very interesting. Look at that detail. That is so cute. But I really wanted something Harris Tweed. And that's how I think I came across Islander. So I'm glad I got these. And then I also got the matching cashmere scarf. It's hard to tell in this um, wrapping, <laughs> but um, it is the Black Watch print. And um, Oh, it's not cashmere. This is um, lamb's wool. I think that's all they had. I don't think they had cashmere. But at least when I went. So but I just like that everything matches. Oh my gosh, it would look so cute. What an outfit. Especially when you're over there, it was just so cold. And, you know, all they see is your coat, you know, not your actual outfit. So the coat is the outfit. So any which way that you can accessorize the outside of it. Wow. I mean, I just, I really, really, truly love this. Okay. I just emptied out the Ted Baker bag because it was carrying all of this. Um, I do have some Ted Baker right over there, which I will show you in just a moment. But let's get through the smaller stuff first. So um, there is, of course, a bunch of Harry Potter stuff that you can buy there. <laughs> There's so many stores, it is crazy. And you can actually go to platform nine and three quarters. Yeah. So we did that and we took a picture. Really cool. I absolutely loved it. The weight was ridiculous. And the security guards, um, they take their job way too seriously. There was literally this girl that was just like on the side trying to quickly take a picture of the sign and they started yelling at her. And oh my gosh, like you would have thought she stole a train or something. I mean, like it was just crazy. But other than that, they're a little intense over there. <laughs> but other than that, I thought it was pretty cool that we got to do this um i think you, you do have to pay for this but really really cool that we actually got to see platform nine and three quarters and they do have a store at that um platform so i got this beauty right here i love trunks like i don't know what it is with trunks they just look so cute and i always wanted like a bigger trunk for like storage or something but this i saw this and i was like this is perfect because it's actually a purse and let's see you just open it like so and it comes with a little crossbody strap so this is what the bag looks like inside it's actually wood which is crazy and it comes with like a leather crossbody strap and then if you look at the receipt it actually says king's cross platform nine and three quarters oh my gosh crazy so <laughs> i had to get a little souvenir from that and um yeah it's just so cute i don't know if i'll ever actually get to wear it but definitely it's going to be in my harry potter room for sure so cute then i of course had to get a harry potter beanie a hogwarts beanie um because it was so cold there and my ears just kept getting cold and uh this was perfect i like things that aren't house specific because i still am not quite sure which house i belong in i'm very much a raven puff like half Ravenclaw, half Hufflepuff, maybe even a little bit of Gryffindor in there, but yeah. So I always try to go for things that aren't house specific and this was perfect. And this is actually really cool because you can actually take the pom-pom off if you don't want to have the pom-pom, but I of course love the pom-pom. So there's that. And then I just happened to stumble upon the Mina Lima shop that they have there, which I totally forgot about. But um, I, of course, had to step in and see the shop. It is so cool, very tiny, but in that tiny shop, they have packed so much Harry Potter goodness uh, and Mina Lima goodness, of course. And um, I always wanted the wrapping, or not wrapping paper, what is it? The wallpaper. <laughs> I always wanted the wallpaper that has this print, you know, the Black Family print but it is so incredibly expensive. And so I thought um, for my Harry Potter room, I would just get this and frame it in a really, really pretty frame. This is just like a card 
So, um, yeah. And this had like foiling detail, whereas there was like an actual artwork that was there with this print, but it didn't have the foiling detail. And I love when things are glittery and shiny. So there's that. And from one of the many Harry Potter stores, there is one store in particular, which is on Victoria Street. And oh gosh, I'll insert the name here. I totally forgot the name of it, but it is like a Harry Potter mega store. <laughs> And um, all, that is also very tiny, but they do have like three floors. Um, very, very cute. And I did get a couple of books from there. And so, of course, you know, we're in Scotland. So I did want some folk tales from Scotland. And we did do a road trip. So throughout the road trip, when we were getting bored, I would read a story from here, you know. And we got, we got pretty far. This has like plenty of little short stories, which I absolutely love. So you're not like committed to reading the whole book in one go. You know what I mean? So this is great. And the second book I got was this one because I am obsessed with sirens, mermaids, all, you know, all that, all the mythological stuff. So I thought this was perfect. And it's also very pretty. Like I said, I really like foiling and this had plenty of it. And this also is like short mini stories which i thought was great so there is that and then i also got this one i just couldn't decide between the three so naturally i just get all three you know that's how i uh solve that problem um this one has all of the monsters myths and legends which again totally up my alley so um these again have like little short facts and stories which i absolutely love and I loved that there were like illustrations, which is great. So there is that. And I did get one more book, but this was from the gift shop of when we went to go see Stonehenge, which that in itself was really cool that we got to see Stonehenge. We also saw Newgrange, which is like a very, 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 very old um, ancient burial, I believe. Anyways, it's all getting jumped up. We saw so much on this trip. I mean, you should see our itinerary. It was jam-packed every single day. We were there for two weeks, and for two weeks, it was just like nonstop, go, 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 go. We saw so many castles, so many things. So this, anyways, is from the gift shop of Stonehenge. And again, it was the packaging that got me. I love anything to do with moons and suns and stars, and I, I just love all of those things. And this is the Moon Almanac. And so it kind of like explains things of the moon for each month and has like interesting facts and stuff like that. And it's just like a really nice short read. My plan is to read each month as it happens. You know what I mean? So um, I haven't read April's yet, but yeah, really, really cool. I love short, small books like this. Very nice. So those will be great additions to my library. All right, before we move on to Strathbury, I totally forgot about this. This I actually got uh, after seeing Newgrange in their gift shop. <laughs> gift shops are very dangerous for me, I've learned. So um, I really wanted one of these hats. And this, again, um, is this beautiful tweed. And it's like a greenish color. It's hard to tell on camera. But so cute. I wore it all throughout the trip. Very, very nice. Here's some information on it. If you're interested, very, very cute. And um, I would wear it, and then my husband would wear it. Like, we would take turns. Um, yeah, I just thought I really loved the look of these hats. Look at the detail. How adorable. It even says Ireland on there. So there is that. I'll include pictures as much as I can. All right, let's move on to Strathberry. I did end up getting a cashmere scarf from here. I completely fell in love with tweed and cashmere on this trip, like, and and the color green, as you will see. But this it was just so soft and beautiful, and it matched perfectly with my brand new Strathberry bag. How beautiful is she? Oh my goodness! This is like the it's not the mini. I think it's the mini tote, not the nano. The nano was even smaller, and my requirement for any bag is for it to hold my phone. It just, it has to. So this um, wasn't too big, and it wasn't too small, which was perfect. And they had just gotten this size in this color. 
um, it, I think the color is called oatmeal. So it wasn't available in this color before. And normally I don't go for like light colored bags because I'm so scared of getting it dirty, but this was just so pretty. And um, my husband was like, oh my gosh, this would match, you know, your purse and it would look so good together. I mean, of course it's like a little bit lighter, but it was mainly because of my trench coat that I was wearing. Uh, everything goes well with that trench coat. So um, <laughs> he was just like, that That would be such a cute outfit. And so, you know, I didn't want to argue with him. You know, if he wanted to treat me to this bag, obviously I would let him. So <laughs> there's that and this beautiful cashmere scarf. This is like, I think it's called like their travel scarf because it is huge. It's almost like a blanket, um, but also very soft and can be worn as a, just like a regular scarf. So I really, really liked that. So it was between this bag and another bag. And the other bag that I really wanted was the East West bag, which I mean, I, I just couldn't decide. So again, what I naturally do is go for both of them. So here is this beauty. Oh my goodness. You know, I wore her for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> um, I mean, wow. This green is everything. I love this green color. It matched perfectly with my sweater. Um, it, it was just perfect. Look at the chain. Like how gorgeous. And I love smooth leather. Just beautiful. Look at that. And it fit my phone perfectly. Because again, they do have a smaller version of this, but that did not fit my phone. And so I had to go with this. I almost got the black version of this, um, but it was like, it, it was a smaller version. So they didn't have much at this boutique that we went to. And this just happened to be there staring at me. This is the same bag that Meghan Markle, I think she had the smaller one. So if you're, if that interests you at all, but this does come with a long chain as you see here, but it's all nicely packaged. So I'm trying not to mess it up and it's hard to do one-handed. So this is what the inside looks like. Plenty of room as you can see. And there's like a little like card slot here or just like a little slit right there just to put some essentials and I think the inside is suede yeah but this green is just perfection like I said I was obsessed with the color green I don't know if it was because we started off our trip in Ireland I don't know but um yeah wow really really nice Ireland was absolutely beautiful very very green I understand why they call it the land of green it's just gorgeous there the people were very friendly too over there the rest of the uk i i can't say that they were that friendly um i mean what can you do we were like followed and stuff like that i mean it was just like i don't know some of the other countries kind of made you feel like a criminal like it was just there are some downsides of course to traveling and i don't know but overall the trip was really fun and we we just tried not to focus on the negative like for example the when we went to go see stonehenge i believe yeah the there was this like old guy working there i didn't know he was working there but anyways he like he was literally right behind me and when i say right behind me a foot distance just following me around and i was like what do you think i'm gonna steal like am i really going to steal the display and everything is behind glass and so I, I don't know he was just it was so weird and then he came up right beside my face and just staring at me and i was like and so i thought maybe he's like you know i don't know i, I have no idea but <sighs> then i found out that he works there because i saw his name tag and everything and this huge group of teenagers they start like running in and they're so loud and everything and they came in as soon as we were leaving and this guy goes and just sits down and these, these kids were like rowdy and like they were loud. And I was like, really? You were following me around the entire time. And it was just, mind you, just me and my husband in that room. <laughs> and there's this old guy and another guy um, that is working there. So it's literally like one-on-one. -on -one. Like if we tried to try anything, they could easily get us. So I was just like, why is he following me around like that? <sighs> Anyways, not the best experience. Um, I really wanted to just like tell him like, can I help you with something? Is there a reason why you're like all up in my face? But I just, I, I, was, I always try to bite my tongue and try to get out of any conflict or anything. I just, I don't want 
confrontation of any kind. So, anyways, this wasn't the only um, incident though. So, like um, North uh, Northern Ireland, there's this guy. Like, oh my gosh, when we went to see the Giants Causeway, he was like taking our ticket and very rude. There's so many instances, but the people of Ireland, at least the ones that we ran into, thank you for being so sweet. Like like honestly um and it's not just uk like even when we went to new york we were followed around the only ones again followed around by the security guard when we went to the met you know the museum like what did he think i was gonna do like stuff a a, a mummy in my jacket i don't know <laughs> it was so weird so i don't know if i give off this look of being a criminal i don't know i, I have no idea but so it's not just the uk but just beware if you're like especially if you're very sensitive like me like and honestly, like, I was like, okay, is this in my head? But when the guy came up to my face, like, if this is my face, he's right here. And I was like, what? Like, just staring. And I was like, what the heck? And my husband was like, what is wrong with this guy? Like, and I was like, I don't understand. Like, what did I do? And he's like, you know, my husband was like, just forget it. You know, it's a good thing that you didn't make it a big deal. But oh, things like that just kind of like ruin your day. So now I have this um, bag to get me through it. So <laughs> anyways, yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to get back to the positives. So anyways, people of Ireland, thank you for being so sweet. But anyways, Strathbury. Um, how did I get to Ireland? Talking about, oh, the green, the green. But Strathbury is a Scottish brand. So um, keep that in mind. <laughs> you can't get this in Ireland. You can only get this in Scotland or online. We did go to Edinburgh, which was really cool if you like architecture so gorgeous the architecture it is like another world and we saw the cafe that jk rowling wrote some of the um harry potter books in and we even saw tom riddle's um grave it was just an epic harry potter trip <laughs> also so not just like a uk ireland trip but also like a harry potter trip very cool if you're a fan of harry potter definitely i suggest going there because it's like you're stepping into that world almost at least the closest you can get to stepping into that world um in real life um aside from you know of course like universal and stuff like that so okay so uh there is my strathberry bag oh and i did also get a little twilly from strathberry okay so i always wanted a dior like mitzvah scarf but those things are ridiculously expensive this was expensive as well for what it is but still so beautiful i thought this would go perfectly with this bag and it is like all astrological and beautiful and like i mentioned before i love anything with like moons and stars and stuff like that and oh my gosh and it is 100 percent silk it feels amazing oh my gosh i wish i had like a dress or something with this like oh so beautiful so um, it was between this scarf and another one. They had like a green one and oh, I don't know. I still may get the green one because I really did like the green. And like I said, this trip had me obsessed with green, but I decided to go with this in the end because of course I love the print. And also I just bought a green bag. So um, yeah, so here's this beautiful silk scarf and you can also tie this in your hair, around your neck, all of that. So um, not that I've ever done that before, but actually I used to use ribbons in my hair, so we'll see. And it says Strathberry there at the end. So beautiful. All right, so those were my Strathberry goodies. So for my actual birthday gift, I was debating on getting Strathberry or another Lady Dior. Um, and we did go to, I think it was Harrods, like the actual store. And the Dior people, I don't know. I don't know why some, at least the Dior stores I've been to, like, I've seen online that people have great experiences with Dior and all that, but there was this Lady Dior there um, in the display, and it was this beautiful burgundy color, and I was like, oh my gosh, absolutely, this may be it, this may be the purse that I get, um, and that was before we went to Strathbury, and <laughs> I don't know. And mind you, I do have um, another Lady Dior, the um, ABC Lady Dior. And the one in the display was another ABC Dior. And I was like, oh, okay, so that's y'all's um, small size, the ABC version. And the lady was like, uh, no, that is the medium size. And I was like, oh, 
that looks just like the you know the same size as the one that I have. And she was like, um, no, the medium is the only one that you can choose charms for. And I was like, oh, because I have a small Lady Dior, like the ABC, and that's the one that they said, you know, that's the only one you can choose charms for. And she was like, no. Like, <laughs> I was like, what the heck? And so I was like, oh, you don't have to be rude about it. And uh, but anyways, I was like, oh, OK, like. Because obviously she, she works there. She should know, right? So I was like, okay, just trust the professional. But anyways, the rude lady walked off to help someone. And um, she put me with this new girl who had just been working there for a week. And um, she was nice. She was. Uh, but she also was like, oh, here, let me bring out the medium size that you have. And she brought out a medium size Dior. And I was like, whoa, this is far bigger than the Dior that I have. And she was like, no, 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 this is, this is the ABC. And I was like, are you sure? And like, I was like, okay, I mean, maybe, maybe I haven't used it much. So maybe it just seems, it, it just seems like a different size to me, I guess. And like, I just kept like, you know, making excuses because I was like, okay, these are the professionals. They know what they're talking about. Um, but yeah, she looks inside the bag and it's a chain strap. And I was like, oh, so this comes with a chain strap? And she's like, oh, wait a minute. And then she looks inside the small ABC Dior. And sure enough, that is the charm, uh, like the st leather strap that you can choose charms for. And she's like, oh, wait. So it's actually the small that you can choose the charms for. I was like, yeah, that's what I've been saying. And she's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's my first week, so I, I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <sighs> but still, like, I mean, I don't, I mean, if he's your first week, like, I, I really don't care. Like, okay, fine, honest mistake, whatever. But the first lady, like, there was no need for you to be rude and was like, no. You know, I don't know. It's just not what you expect, especially from, like, a luxury store like Dior. Just, there was no need to be rude. Um, so, yeah. So she brought out, like, this new girl, she brought out three um, Lady Dior's. Even though I told her, please, like, don't take them out you know we, we have to go we like i didn't i wasn't sure if i would buy anything from there especially after the lady being rude so i was like oh no please you know really we're good i'll just look at them through the display and she's like no, no no no, let me take them out let me take them out and so she took them out and i don't even like having them take out purses and stuff because i feel like a weird obligation like okay now i have to buy something which i don't like feeling like that which is why i was like please don't bother like let me just look at them from the outside but the girl was insistent. She was like, no, 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 it'll just take a second. And she ran off. And we were not even there for not even 15 minutes. And this other lady comes out of nowhere. And she was like, okay, which one are you going to buy? Like, I was wasting her time. And like, I was like, where did she even come from? Like, I'm working with this other girl. Like, where did this lady come from? And I don't know that the one in, I think it was either, either Harrods or Selfridges. I'll put it up on the screen. But that Dior. It was the one, the door that was like upstairs. Um, yeah. Two out of the three people that were working there. Very, very rude. So that is what pushed me to buy Strathberry. So, so uh, really, I should thank you because I really do love my Strathberry bags. Anyways, um, I haven't made a video of my Lady Dior purchasing. Um, I actually got it for my birthday last year. I will eventually make a video for that. It just deserves its own video. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag, but also there, the Dior there, um, they weren't very nice. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I've heard people say they had, like, they made a whole day of it, and it was wonderful, and everyone was so sweet to them, and they had champagne and all that. That's just not the case, at least not, you know, to the Dior's that I've been to, and I've been to, like, several Dior's now. <sighs> so I don't know what it is, and it's not like I'm dressed like a slob or anything, you know, I had like a trench coat on and purse and like everything. I was, I'm, I always try to make sure I dress up to go here so that I'm at least treated a little nice, but it doesn't matter. Like, I, I don't understand what it is. Um, very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Um, there's another Dior. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't even know what this was. This is also in England. And I'm just trying to, like, I'm walking on the outside of the Dior store, trying to see if I see any purses that I like. And if there were, you know, I was just going to walk in and see it. But I, if not, I wasn't going to waste my time. But the guy, the the guard, the guard, <laughs> he starts blocking my view. So like when I look here, he like steps that way. When I was looking here, he steps that way. I was like, what is with this guy? Like, I can't even look at the purses now. Like I'm not even in the store. Like I'm literally just looking for like, oh, I, 
I don't know. I, I think I'm, I just have really bad luck when it comes to meeting nice people. I don't know. <laughs> That's why Ireland was like my favorite as far as people go, because pe people were actually nice. They actually like talked to me. They were sweet and friendly. And I was actually like, it's really sad because I was actually thrown off guard as to how like friendly they were. And, um, I don't know. It's just, it's really sad. I guess that's just how the, the world is now. I don't know. But if you're looking for friendly people, Ireland is the way to go for sure. Not Northern Ireland, UK. I don't know what's going on. Even though like, okay, I'm Indian. Okay. And the, the prime minister of England is Indian. So I don't know why, like, so I would think they, they're not racist towards Indians at least. I don't know. But <sighs> anyways, this is turning into a rant as well. So I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But I mean, it was just like one after the other. We, we went to another gift shop outside of a castle and this guy starts following us around again. And I'm just like, what? And I always make sure not to have my hands anywhere near my pockets. I hold them in front of me, like literally like on my chest so that like there's no confusion that I'm not there to take anything. I'm literally just looking at your stuff. And um, still, this guy is following me around and he blocks the exit. So, like, I guess in case I try to take anything. Meanwhile, there is a group of four ladies, all with huge bags. Huge. Like, shopping bags and, like, like you know, the big, like, um, it's not really a tote bag. Just, like, a big, like, it's like a mix between a tote bag and a bucket bag. I was like, why does she need that huge bag? Anyways, anyways, I digress. But they were all up on... All of the stuff. Like, I literally did not touch anything because I, I try not to because I'm, I have this fear of breaking things in the gift shop. So I tried not to touch anything, hold anything, nothing. These girls, uh, well, not girls, they were ladies. Ladies were all over the stuff. He didn't once look at them. So I'm like, what is it? <sighs> okay, anyways, anyways. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. Let's move on to Holland Cooper while I cool down. <laughs> I promise you, I did have a fun time on this trip. It's just instances that like like that just, oh, like our New York trip had a wonderful time. I've never met more rude people than in New York. Everyone just seems to have an attitude there. But I mean, and I've heard that before and I was like, no, that's not possible. Everyone can't be rude, but it's true. <sighs> okay, this stuff, I'm going to move to my closet and hang them and show you because it's hard to show you um, holding it up like this. So uh, give me a minute. Okay, so this is my bathroom. Um, this had the best lighting. My closet is rather dark. So here we are with the first item from Holland Cooper. It needs a good steam because it was crumpled up in my luggage. We had to buy another luggage to fit in all of my shopping. I went a little crazy, but well worth it because look at this beauty. This is black. Um, I don't know why it's showing up like a charcoal gray on camera, but this is very, very black. It's a beautiful black blazer from Holland Cooper, and it is the Knightbridge blazer in black Barathea, I think is how you say it. Um, and it is gorgeous. I have always, always wanted a blazer, especially a black blazer, and I finally got one. I have like two other blazers, but... They're rather, they're not the most stylish, I guess, <laughs> but uh, I'm so glad I got this. It's really beautiful. Um, the girls there were very, very sweet, very helpful. And I just absolutely love all of this detailing. I love this. This would match so perfectly with my uh, Holland Cooper boots. Very, very cute. So there is that. Are these real pockets? I think they are. Oh my gosh, real pockets. That is great. Um, but, uh, if I do end up wearing it for an outfit or something, I'll try to insert it here. Um, but I do post on Instagram and TikTok, so make sure to follow me on there. So that is the first item from Holland Cooper. Very gorgeous. Trust me, I wanted to buy everything in that store. This store is exactly how I wish to dress all the time, but it is rather pricey. So I... Uh, tried to be good and only got two items. So this is the first one. The next one is this coat. And I just wanted to show you that it comes in a garment bag, this amazing garment bag um, in this beautiful green color. So if you're worried about transporting it, they do give you a garment bag. So let's take a look. Look how gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite coat out of all the ones that I got. And I don't know why, but I bought 
all coats, like literally coats and purses on this trip. <laughs> That's about it. Um, and blazers, of course. But this is my favorite. This is the Regency full length coat in the color Mulberry. It is this beautiful, like dark maroon burgundy color. And it has these details on the side and these beautiful buttons and pockets, of course. And I also like the back detailing with the beautiful Holland Cooper logo on there. So, so gorgeous. I almost got the black version um, because I thought I would wear that more, but this, I don't know, there's just something about this color that was just perfection. I will try to include some pictures, but these are absolutely so perfect, um, the, both the blazer and the coat. I had always wanted Holland Cooper, and then I saw this show, I think it's called Fool Me Once on Netflix, and she was wearing the same exact coat but in black. And I was like, this is a sign, I have to. I have to get a Holland Cooper coat. Like, it just has to happen. And so I ended up getting the same exact coat of hers, which I wasn't planning on doing. I was actually, um, I actually had another coat in mind, which I almost got, but again, I was trying to be nice and um, trying not to buy all the coats in the world. So, <sighs> but so beautiful. I don't, like, it's so hard to get the coloring on this. Like, my, um, Phone camera is kind of wigging out. I don't know why. But again, this needs a good steam. Let's see, <laughs> why is it going? Also, please forgive my uh, camera. I don't know what's happening, but oh, so gorgeous. Hopefully the pictures that I show you um, will give it more justice, but it's beautiful. I mean, even the lining, oh, gorgeous. Can you imagine this during fall and winter time? Absolute perfection. It's like a blazer. It's like best of both worlds. It's kind of like a blazer, but also a coat. So it provides you with more warmth and it's so flattering. Oh my goodness. Literally one of the most flattering coats I own now. Next up, we have Ted Baker. I knew I needed a black coat, which is crazy because I love coats. Do I live anywhere cold? No. But do I have an obsession with coats? Yes. So I have pretty much any color that you would need except for black, which was so crazy. So I was like, okay, I definitely need a black coat. And that's why I was about to get the Holland Cooper one. But before we stopped into Holland Cooper, we stopped into Ted Baker and I fell in love with this coat. It is far more simple <laughs> than the Holland Cooper one. I'll insert a picture of the Holland Cooper coat that I was talking about. But this one, there's just something about it. Um, it had this beautiful button detail. And so you can wear it like this with like the collars like that. But it also has a magnet here. And this has a magnet right here. You can kind of see it. And it just attaches like that. And I thought that was so cool. And it comes with a tie, of course. And it is super flattering. This, out of all of my coats that I bought this trip, um, I think this is the most flattering, of course, because it's black, but also, I don't know, like the style of it and everything, just absolute perfection. Um, it says it's woven in Italy, and it even has like detailing on the ties. It says Ted Baker. If you're looking for more of like a chic city look, this is the coat to go uh, with. But if you're looking for a much more... It's, it's, the Holland Cooper version was a very, very like British military-esque. So um, I do eventually want to get that. Maybe for Christmas. Maybe for Christmas I'll get that coat. But this one was perfect. And this has silver detailing, whereas the Holland Cooper one has gold detailing. So keep that in mind if you're choosing between coats. And I loved this coat so much that I had to get it in the other color it came in, which is this beautiful caramel color. How gorgeous. I really wanted another coat this color because the trench coat that I wear, I wear to death. That is the coat that I bring on every trip, it seems, because it just goes with everything and everything looks good with it. And, um, which is why we originally went to Burberry because I thought I was gonna get another trench coat. But I don't know, I wasn't very impressed with Burberry. I don't know what happened. Um, my husband got some really good things, um, sweaters and jackets and stuff, but I just couldn't find anything that I liked. But this jacket was perfect. Again, very simple, but it looks amazing on and very comfortable. And it has that magnetic detailing here, which is so cool. You can wear it like several different ways, which I love things like that. The button 
very, very beautiful. So there is that. Next up, we have Fairfax and Favor, which is another British brand. And I think this is the closest to Holland Cooper. Kate Middleton, I know, likes to shop here. So, um, yes, I decided to get this blazer from there. I just really love this detail. Look at that. So gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. It's like dog hair. What the heck? Anyways, um, this is a wool blazer. And it is so comfortable there's like a stretch to it too so i could have gone a size down but um i think this was the only size they had left again they didn't like at this specific shop that we went to the location it didn't have much there so i don't know what i don't know maybe it was because it was off season that we went um these are fake pockets <sighs> i wish they were real but um, at least i can't get into them let me see the buttons beautiful I actually went in to get their belt. They have this beautiful belt, which is very popular, but the buckle goes on the back of you. So like if you're not wearing a blazer or something to cover it up, it just looks very odd. Um, they definitely could have designed it better. <laughs> so um, until they do, I'll just have to do with not getting one of their belts, which sucks because I really, really like the design of it. But anyways, so we have that. And this is a dark navy blue color, if you're wondering. On screen, um, I don't know what color it looks like. It kind of looks black, but it is a deep navy blue color. But I have also seen online that they have a burgundy shade of this, which um, they didn't have in store. So, But I am glad I got navy blue because black and navy blue are two colors that I always love to wear. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting to like this blazer very much. Um, or as much as my Holland Cooper blazer, but I may like this more than my Holland Cooper blazer, which is crazy, but it was just very comfortable and flattering. Okay, this last item from Fairfax and Favor is very much a showstopper. I did not expect to ever get something like this, but it looked so good on that I just had to. <laughs> and it is this beautiful cape. Oh my goodness. Again, it's all wrinkled. I'm gonna have to steam it but it is a cape, look how cool, oh my goodness. Um, this is wool and faux fur. Um, this is detachable too, so if you don't want the faux fur, then you, know, you can always take it off, but I love things like that, that gives you like options. And it came with a belt, so it goes like that. Really cute. Um, this is just like a hand hole, so you can put your hand inside of these pockets. Look at that detailing right next to the pocket. Even the back was really cute. This is what the back looks like. And you kind of loop the belt through this. Look how cute, oh my goodness. Um, I actually saw the black and white version of this. It was like a hound's tooth print and I wanted to try it on but they didn't have my size. And the girl was like, well, why don't you just try this one on? And I was like, oh no, the, I would never get something like that. Well, I was wrong because it actually looked really cute on, which I was not expecting. Um, I will say it is rather thin, like especially for the price that you pay. This is so expensive, but I don't know. I just, they were about to close and I was just so excited to shop that I just kind of went crazy. And like even my husband was like, oh my gosh, that looks actually really cool. And wearing it, I just felt like a, I don't know, like a Russian princess or something. It just looks so cool. Mixed with a, like a tad bit of Sherlock. <laughs> but um, I thought it was really cool. And I liked that you get a belt with it and everything. But wow, really, really cute. And that, I mean, this is the outfit. You know, you just need some really cute boots and you have an outfit. This is so unlike me, but I love it. I definitely don't have anything like this in my closet, <laughs> so that's good. And it's really cool because you can wear this with brown, you can wear it with white, you can wear it with black. Um, this shade goes with like anything. You know, you can wear it with dark brown, you can wear it with light brown as well. So um, I really like that, the versatility of it. And I just wanted to show you real quick that um, Fairfax and Favor and Ted Baker all came with um, like dust bags, which was really helpful. And also the Fairfax and Favor bag 
is humongous. It was almost comical, but I loved it. And I did take several pictures with it because I just love the bag so much. I'm definitely keeping that bag as well as the Holland Cooper bag. I love that green color, but yeah, <laughs> I'll include pictures, of course. All right, so I did get some sweatshirts. I've never been a huge sweatshirt girl, but ever since I started visiting like different universities, I have to get a sweatshirt from them. And I actually make these into my like travel sweatshirts. So every time I'm on the plane, these are perfect because they have a big pocket, really easy to stuff whatever is like you need right in there, you know, your phone or whatever, because women know that we don't have pockets in any of our leggings or pants or nothing. So this is perfect. Anyways, um, we went to Cambridge University and of course it's gorgeous. So I had to get a sweatshirt so that established in 1209 crazy but it's this beautiful light green color which apparently is like their main official color at least from what we looked online so there's that and it has the emblem and everything which i thought was really cool and yes this is like the official merch from their gift shop and here's oxford established in 1231 another beautiful university oh gosh i need to snip this off but anyways, has the emblem and everything. Really cool. And I always try to get the sweatshirt in like their official colors. So there's Oxford. This is like a very dark navy blue. And I believe they call it Oxford blue. And the last sweatshirt is just a pretty one that I saw in the gift shop. It says London, England in beautiful gold. So, and it was black. So black and gold, I love that combo. And this is what I wore on the plane ride home. Okay, we are almost done with this epic haul. Um, I have some honey here, which was from one of our hotels. This, there were two hotels that were absolutely spectacular. Um, one was in Loch Ness and, um, oh gosh, I think it's called the Walk Ness or Ness Walk or something like that really amazing they gave you like wine when you entered and everything like that and they took the, your bags up for you it was like five star treatment excellent treatment um i'll leave that information uh in case you are traveling there and there was another one and they had the best breakfast and some of the hotels the breakfast is actually included and you can like try the uh, like full english breakfast which had like blood pudding and haggis and stuff like oh my gosh like it was actually pretty good it freaked me out you know especially with the name blood pudding but it was actually pretty good and um we had our fair share of fish and chips especially chips with salt and vinegar which is now like one of my most favorite things and they had this amazing honey at um i'll put the name up i can't remember any of the hotel's names right, right now i'm still very jet lagged so <laughs> there is that and then of course we have to get magnets i have a whole collection of magnets of everywhere that we've traveled these are literally all of the magnets i am currently cleaning the kitchen so that's why i had to take them all off so i can wipe down the fridge but i mean this is literally a shoebox full and it's so heavy full of all the places that we've been to so i have some new magnets and typically all we get are like the the country like we want like ones with the country name on there so this is one from ireland of course and i think it's so cool it's like a miniature snippet of that country and i always write the year that we go on the back and edinburgh i wanted one with specifically just scotland on it but this is the uh, best looking one one out of the bunch oh by the way this scots uh oh my gosh oh all the names escape me the scots uh, monument in edinburgh is absolutely gorgeous really cool and we did see edinburgh castle all of the we saw everything literally everything the royal mile and then this one we had to get one for new grange because i just thought it was so cool that we actually got to go inside of this super ancient building that is still there like i mean yes they did do things to like kind of renovate it but like we stood where i think it's prehistoric is that i'm really i don't know dates and stuff like that but i mean i thought it was fantastic that we got to stand where they stood and everything like i just think it's so cool i love things like that i kind of geek out about things like that so there's one for new grange and then i actually have two from london because uh 
I think I mentioned before, we went to one of the um, souvenir shops and these guys were so sweet. They were like, oh, you know what? You can choose an extra one. Go ahead. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. So I got two London magnets. This was the first one that I chose. And then the second one. Really pretty. And then we went to this village. Oh my gosh. I think we forgot to get one from Wales and Northern Ireland. I, well, actually, I don't know. They might be in my other backpack. Oh, crap. Oh, I need to look for those. If I do find them, I'll insert them here. But dang it. But because we did go to five countries. We were actually in three different countries in the first day. Like, it was crazy. We literally drove. Um, or in the first two days. Sorry. So it was, uh, like I said, jam-packed. But anyways, there was that. I mean, we were just passing through Wales, but then we came back around to Wales. So anyways, um, there was this town, and I'm still not quite sure how you pronounce it. Bybury? Bibbury? <laughs> Pretty sure it's Bybury. But this was straight out of a fairy tale. I actually teared up because it was so beautiful. And oh, oh my gosh. If there, if you love like fairy tales and just want to be transported into just another world, this is the place to go. There's not much to see other than this like little row of houses, okay? And there's like little streams and stuff. And everything in the UK closes early. They close around like four or six. And I mean, <laughs> it's crazy because, uh, you know, the rest of the night, it's just like pubs and bars. But um, so we, I got here literally two minutes before closing and I grabbed this magnet and I was like, oh, I'll get, I'll take this because I needed something to remember this by, you know, like a magnet because that was how special it was for me. I, I'll try to insert pictures, but oh my goodness, literally probably my, my favorite, um, stop in the whole road trip. So definitely if you ever, ever get to go here, please do. Again, there's not... Too much to see in this little town, but this little row of houses, like, just straight out of a fairy tale. Alrighty, you guys, so that was it for this huge UK and Ireland birthday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!